What's up guys? Tony Scangilli here with a different kind of video. This is not educational. This is maybe informative. This is a Tony Scangilli rant video, usually reserved for my streams. Uh, I don't often frequent Reddit because I don't want to. Uh, I am often informed about uh, stuff that's going on in Reddit, and today was no different. However, this was interesting to me. Uh, according to this post, which was made, I guess, 24 hours ago or something, uh, from the time of this video, someone made a pretty decent uh, explanation, or at least an attempt at an explanation, of the mass exodus of players. Now, you may not know this, and it may not affect you, and it, I mean, it doesn't affect me in particular, but over the last, I'm going to be conservative and say three months, um, I believe it's longer, but I can attest to three months, uh, a large number of players in this game from all tiers, uh, be the top of this game uh, to, you know, uh, players who just picked it up casually because they happened to just find it or, you know, were interested in playing some kind of strategy game, uh, have quit playing uh, temporarily or otherwise. Uh, it's been an issue. For a lot of people some of the top alliances are having very difficult times filling uh, and i'm not specifically saying about any alliance at the top but the top alliances you know in the top 50 alliances in the game uh it's very difficult to to fill uh, a lot of people have sold accounts there are a lot of players who are using uh, accounts that they have purchased on websites that i'm not going to advertise here um, but there, you know, which is technically a net one for one, but uh, there's a lot of people who are quitting this game. And uh, this post kind of goes in just to summarize it a little bit. Uh, there's, you know, a meaningful conversation about what's going on, about how, why this guy has an opinion. And if you go into the, the post itself, it'll say uh, lack of top tier progress. You know, once you're at the, the end of the game play for you, you you just don't have much to do. You're just kind of pushing it. That was an issue with U6 for a long time. A lot of alliances, my, mine included, are auto fighting U6 uh, in about auto fighting in about eight to ten hours. So there just isn't enough to keep the end game occupied. There are things that you can do. It's just they're not very rewarding. Uh, gold obviously is always an issue in this game, but uh, they're not very responsive about how they intend on fixing some of the gold related issues like they're releasing more characters i understand they released a level cap increase the the amount of gold on average we're getting a day is it has not gone up uh it's a complaint uh whether i'm not going to go into details of whether i think it's a valid complaint or not but it, it is a, a common complaint uh the gear 13 and 14 is a i consider a valid complaint uh, because the, it is very difficult to obtain unique items uh, as a community uh, and the, the requirements for them uh, as well as the training mats and pretty much everything uh, are tied into the fact that there is no reliable way of, of obtaining them and and I understood it when it was uh, the gateway behind getting Ultron one of if not the best character in the game but now that it seems to be more and more necessary for specific things you know, by specific things, I mean raids, um, arena, war. They need to kind of loosen up the purse straps a little bit and allow players to, you know, obtain stuff to grow. Uh, and then this next one, I, I, I'm i going to go into detail about it, but I am just going to touch on it, uh, is the U7 over tuning. Uh, I'm just going to bring that up. And and he, he does bring up some good points. Uh, he or she, I, I don't know. Uh, this pain point caused a lot of people to quit. Maybe. Uh, it might have been the straw that broke the camel's back for a lot of players. Um, release content that people can't beat or is very difficult. Uh, maybe. That might be a reason people quit. If This issue would not be so bad if they uh, told us exactly how we are expected to beat it. Tell us in four to six weeks with the release of ISO 8s. Uh, and that is a very good point, and I, I agree with that one. And at the very least, tell us it's designed to be too hard right now, and there is something coming next month to help. Now... I think um, 
I, I'm going to go out on a record and be a bad guy and say, I don't think U7 is overtuned. Uh, I think it is difficult. Uh, I've played this game long enough to know that U6 was uh, both difficult and overtuned at the beginning. Um, and that was... I don't personally have a problem with content that's too difficult, and I don't have a problem with content that you have to grow into. What I do have a problem with is uh, compensation non-commensurate with effort. Uh, and, and for Wayman, what that means is I don't get anything for what I do in a U7. Uh, anything by any comparative measure. If you look at the difference between a U4, a U5, and a U6, you are getting uh, significant increases in key uh, reward material. Uh, that would be blue and purple gear, um, blue and purple training materials, as well as blue and purple gear orbs. And they have recently reworked purple gear orbs to be, in my opinion, better because uh, more of specific items, uh, key being the catalyst parts, is, is almost better all of the time as opposed to a random completed item that might or might not be helping you specifically right now. Now, and it didn't necessarily drop often enough for it to even matter, but if you notice, obviously, the difficulty of the fight, uh, you know, it, it, it's it's a gate. It's a, you, we're being gatekept, gatekept for a minute, and we're, we're being told, like, hey, you know, this is the hard mode, it's supposed to be hard. As you progress and as you level, um, it, you should have no problem beating this eventually. Uh, not right now and not with the effort, but this this U7 overtuning kind of is addressed by all of these things that this person mentioned up to here, which is gold, gear, and training materials. Um, no one is 100%ing U7 without a significant amount of effort right now. And, and that's okay. It, it does not need to be immediately defeatable. It just needs to be rewarding for whatever you accomplish. And the, the travesty is that they are giving the bottom 50% of your alliance to orange training materials for 30%ing a U7. Uh, two orange ability materials would be an absolutely phenomenal amount uh, if orange ability upgrades cost 45 orange ability materials they do not they cost between 180 and 240 uh, so you are getting literally less than one percent if you are among the bottom half of a 30 percent completion that number goes up i don't know i think it's 10 at a hundred percent which currently no one is doing uh, which is now nothing. Like you, you get nothing. It's not worth it. And and that that's the issue. The issue is Fox Next really, really, really doesn't like to give away uh, at anything, any rewards commensurate with work. Uh, and you wouldn't accept it anywhere else. You wouldn't accept a uh, payment for a job you do uh that d isn't representative of the amount of work you wouldn't take a minimum wage job job uh if you ha were a doctor uh or you wouldn't accept payment uh of minimum wage if you were a doctor you would accept the payment that uh, a doctor demands if you were required to do a very difficult task even in so far that it's currently almost impossible uh, in this game, you would expect that the rewards to be representative of not only how difficult it is to accomplish these tasks, but uh, a, a, a quantum leap from where those rewards were uh, in the previous iteration. Now, I had mentioned U6s were almost laughable for a big portion of the community. I'd say the top 200 to 300 alliances in the game were laughing at U6 for the last four months, uh, and that hasn't changed too greatly, but U7 has become an issue for even the top 50 alliances, and it, it's it's just not generating value. So the reason at all I'm even doing this rant is to, to kind of talk about what it means and kind of the direction that Fox Next has already decided this game was going to go into. Players are leaving. Uh, I 
I assure you, they don't care. Um, there are very valid complaints, kind of mished and moshed among like very egocentric complaints. Uh, everyone's going to always complain about the gold. The problem is this current complaint about the gold is incredibly valid, but Fox Next won't see it that way. Uh, someone made a, a comment very earlier on, on one of my streams saying Fox Next isn't looking for new ways of giving you gold. They know how to give you gold. They're giving you less gold because they want you to feel that way. Uh, and it comes from this top-down metric that's in Fox Next. It's this idea that's permeating from the, the, the brass uh, or the, the leadership of Fox Next that is, we don't give a sh shucks, I'm on YouTube, how much money we make tomorrow. We got to make this money today. And because they have spending patterns locked down after uh, almost 18 months of, of, you know, development and uh, playing the game, they, they understand that uh, there is very little they can do that's going to shake the top 1% to 10% of spenders in this game from spending. Uh, at, at the very least, what they spend on. They're going to keep buying Red Star Orbs. They're going to keep buying new character offers. They're going to keep buying whatever incremental advantage they can get to keep their competitive edge. And since uh, in a previous video I'd mentioned something about how their Pareto principle is closer to 595 than... 80 20 uh in this game they don't care the the general opinion and uh i'm speaking as a person who's worked in both the game industry and the marketing industry for a while the general opinion of fox next does attend to be sorry my phone keeps ringing um the general opinion of fox next tends to be if we make money today we'll deal with tomorrow tomorrow uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if uh, in a lot of conversations that we do have on Reddit where the the poor, poor souls uh, of Zeeks and Cerebro who have to go to the dev team all the time and bring the complaints of the community to them, I, I would honestly be shocked if they would ever truthfully tell us what the response was because the, the response is probably F them. Like they're like, ah, oh, whatever. Who cares what who cares if they're mad um the issue like there there's some, there's some pros and cons to this like i said this is a rant video don't like agree disagree comment that's kind of what this is about this is a conversation topic but in my understanding they don't care and if they cared they would have fixed this a long time ago now they're, they're they've taken steps to do certain things but every time they do something it seems like it's it seems like they're paying somebody about $100,000 a year to figure out what the worst deal they can cut is. When they reworked the Red Star system um, into this weird promotion-based system, it, it, instead of a solution that would have made everybody happy and more inclined to spend, which is just make it easier to get Red Star orbs and make Red Star orbs suck less and give you more promotion credits or whatever. Or not promotion credits, it was pre-promotion Give you uh, less chance of pulling you know, a duplicate out of an elite orb. Simple solutions that could have solved the problem and wouldn't have changed how much spending. They managed to find a way to, to trick everybody into into thinking it was actually a progression system by showing, hey, you could buy this, even though mathematically the amount of money you would have to spend to buy this stuff uh, is in the tens of thousands. Uh, I'm not exaggerating that number. Tens of thousands. And I know people who have spent over $10,000 on Red Star Orbs. We've talked there in my stream all the time. We talk about it. Uh, like, that's how much they have to spend. And they're still sitting on a, a Red Star list that's mostly four and five with a pretty decent chunk of sixes and sevens. Uh, they don't get the promotion credits. They open the orbs, you know? that That's just what they do uh, because they buy them all the time. And it goes to the same conversation with when they released the Gamma Raid and they're like, oh, yeah, I guess maybe we did overtune it a little bit. And, uh, you know, next Gamma Raid came out and they didn't make a change. They didn't make a single, you know, they didn't nerf anything. They didn't fix the problem. Uh, and I think the response was a bit of a smug. Well, we never said we were going to fix it. We just said we knew it was it was kind of a sh thing to do. I'm paraphrasing. And, uh, you know, that that that's that's a, that's not the opinion 
that a company that cares about its community says. And I'm not asking for the company to care about its community more than profits. Uh, it's stupid. I would be foolish to say that. I'm asking to not uh, to not have a company that so egregiously insults its community's not only intelligence but but willingness to to be a mark for lack of a better word and and just you know tell them like hey you know sorry it, it harkens back to the uh, battlefield five incident where the uh, the head of I don't remember if it was marketing or development said like hey if you don't like it don't buy the game and then surprise surprise nobody bought the game because when you tell your fan base to go to hell your fan base will be like uh, all right we're taking you with us though like that's what's going to happen and and especially in a mobile game and especially in an online community so so to to kind of summarize again why i'm doing this video in the first place there are a for months i'm gonna conservatively for the last three months probably a little bit longer players are just either taking a more casual approach to the game or uh and and you know it's seen everywhere i'm not going to mention names but other streamers have had that happen almost live on their stream players at the top end are selling off their accounts or asking for uh from the numbers i've heard between six and ten thousand dollars for some of the top 100 or so account tcps etc etc in the game i can personally assure you that there are five people that you can see right now on twitch or on youtube that have purchased their accounts uh, i'm not going to tell you who because it's not in my it's not my reason but there are people who bought their accounts whether they're going to admit it whether they care, whether it's actually in against terms of service, that's not for me to say. But there are people who are buying into this game, but they're they're not buying in the way Fox Next wants them to by spending money. They're buying someone else's account because people are quitting. And honestly, so many people are trying to sell out that there's just not it's a it's a buyer's market. No one's spending the money anymore. And then the players who are either free to play are just kind of getting fed up. Like, how much effort do I have to put into this game to do something when even the top of the base is? And this is kind of a problem because they're clearly designing game modes to sate the top of the base to keep them happy because they're the bread and butter of the company. But they're also not creating a, a, a game that's or game experience that's enjoyable for the whole of the community uh, in this level. So if your alliance has been affected by people just being like, oh, I'm going to quit. Like, I don't want to do this. I don't feel like doing this anymore. Uh, you know, I feel you. We've had a couple of people over the last months just say, like, I don't want to play anymore. And, and they they don't play. They're they're gone. Uh, and that's fine. You know, it, like there's, we're still friends. And we've told them, like, hey, don't, you know, if you ever feel like coming back, we're here. We'll help you out. You know, no problem. Um, but these are issues that uh, if they if if they intended on fixing them, they would have already been fixed. So the the question is, is Fox Next uh, full of idiots or jerks? That's what it comes down to. Are there are there people so foolish that work there? And not anyone, not everyone. You know, there's like 36 people that work there. I got to imagine 28 of them are just people doing their job. So are there just idiots making decisions at Fox Next? Or are there just jerks are they just saying like yeah no we understand this is a bad thing but also who cares what are they going to do not spend more money uh, and i don't i i'm you know kind of speaking for myself here i'm not uh, making a general assumption but that's what i feel that's what it sounds like to me and i'm i'm saying that because that's what i would do honestly because i am a jerk i'm a known <laughs> and i would say that about like, yeah whatever like i'm not worried about my bottom line um, uh, as a rule, I always say that if you complain about something without presenting a solution, you are whining and whining is the lowest form of, of, uh, of intellect. So instead I will kind of present a, a simple solution here, just kind of scrolling through and showing what other people say. Uh, the, the answer to this problem as a community, uh, is, and I will repeat this until I die, is not to quit the game. Um, as a player, if you're frustrated with how it plays, don't quit the game. Um, because quitting the game, it, it, it doesn't send a message 
or at least it's it's clearly not sending a message because it's true it's been happening we know we everyone's experienced people leaving uh just quit spending as a player just play the game casually drop down into a retirement alliance or a, a casual alliance uh and and honestly there's plenty of people in casinos discord in their alliance thing saying like hey looking for a casual the kind of alliance that doesn't care about that wars for fun jump into an alliance seriously you want to know how to have the most fun jump into some little like tiny alliance that's just starting out in u6 and like carry them to victory in war like make your own fun in the game make people that are currently playing the game like you that enjoy the game have fun don't quit because if you quit you've lost everything uh, unless you're being frustrated or, or you know it's causing you mental distress then please stop doing this game probably in this game i don't think that's many people but if it is please quit um but don't don't quit like don't let fox next get away with how oh, we got your money sucker now get out of here like play the game take up their servers take up their time don't advertise it when people ask oh you play that game be like yeah but it's terrible you shouldn't play like word of mouth is is a big deal don't boycott don't say that but when someone asks you about this game like hey do you play this or are you doing this just tell them like yeah but it's not great like don't it's kind of the company is kind of are kind of jerks or, or whatever your opinion is you know tell them Th those are solutions i have to the problem uh because apparently fox next just doesn't want to make the community happy or uh, engage in them in a very meaningful way uh, and, uh, you know, I, I'm very excited about the new characters that are coming out in general. I'm very happy to know that the game is continuing to progress and build, but there are a lot of, you know, black splotches on their, on the veneer of this game and they don't seem to care. And until they start caring, uh, these kind of posts on Reddit are going to become more and more frequent to uh, and eventually become accepted like as a community we've all started to accept and even meme and joke i'm pretty sure i don't have to scroll too far to see more conversations of uh like oh look another request for for gold or something like it's become a meme that fox next is horrendous at managing not only their community but how the uh, community interacts in this game uh, and eventually it's going to be normalized and that's just the stabilizing level. And I don't want this game to fail. I will spend half of my time telling Fox next to go fly a kite because YouTube, but, uh, the other half of my time will be honest to God, trying to convince them you're doing something dumb. Please fix it because I want this game to succeed because I enjoy this game and I enjoy the friendships I've made. Uh, and I enjoy the people I stream with and all of it. Like, it's very fun. It's a good game. I like Marvel. I like strategy games. And I assume most of you guys do too. Uh, so I, I don't want them to fail. I just want them to stop being idiots. And that's pretty much the end of my rant. Uh, thanks for watching, I guess, because rant videos, uh, I want you guys to have a good night. Have a great day. Uh, I've been Tony Scongeli and I'll catch you later. Be good.